Hi, Aswati. No, no, no. Dr. Aswati, welcome to the um, special program. My PhD in rubber technology at IIT Kharagpur. So how do you feel? Now, I think I talked to you a couple of months ago, probably last year, as a Miss Aswati. Now you are Dr. Aswati. How are you feeling now? Uh, first of all, thank you, Param, for giving this opportunity. And uh, I'm feeling like I'm happy now because uh, this is my four years work. So now I am having my thesis on my hand. Uh, I'm very, very happy now. So the, the, the weight is gone. Uh, right? The weight is gone. The weight of a herd and my heart is <laughs> somewhat gone. <laughs> <laughs> uh, nice. So. Uh, it, I think I know it's it's a very doing a PhD is is not an easy task. It's you really need to commit for four years or five years. You know, some people take much longer. Yeah, so it's a really hard task. A lot of people think it's just an education, but it's not. It's really really hard work. Yeah, is it right? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. That's yeah. very true. That's very true. So, uh, like you know, we have to work. Uh, a lot of time as well as we have to study and we have to write papers a lot of things are you know going together so it's very very difficult yeah it's true pretty true i mean i've been in touch with a lot of uh, phds but i didn't do any phd but i wish you know it's too late to do any phd now but i enjoyed conversation with you today and uh, uh, to learn about how you did your PhD, how you completed your PhD. That's and so that um, the new people coming in, or the currently the people are you know in the first year or in doing the early research, they get a clear idea, you know, how your journey was, you know, for four plus years or four years now. Yeah. Um, okay. Ashwati, first I will uh, address one point. Okay. What does PhD means now for you? PhD means like, you know, my uh, like good time of my life is given to my PhD. So I think it's everything for me. Now. <laughs> like, you know, like I am from 24 to 28, like ev that year, we almost do everything during that time. So I give it that to my PhD period. So I'm, it's everything for me now. Because my life is now connected to my PhD, my work, if I'm doing something like postdoc or my a job that will connect it to my PhD work or, uh, you know, how I perform doing my PhD. So it's like my career point or turning point of my life, I have to say. So it means everything for you now. Yeah. yeah. So I think you laid the foundation for your rest of your you know, career or, you know, and uh, I think it's a total, yeah, as you said, a turning point. And, yeah, it's a stepping stone and big step. Yeah. You know, one, big step. Uh, one of the milestone and by one big step for my life. <laughs> super, <laughs> super. I'm really happy, you know, my because you were the first one who did the you know research webinar for me, you know, when I did uh, when I asked Kim Kinsuk. You were the first yeah. researcher who made a presentation for my research webinar. And also yeah. you are the first one um, who, when I decided to do this program, who have finished the PhD and uh, uh, you were the first one. I'm really glad that uh, it's uh, doing this session. Uh, and the presentation also was very nice because I got so many feedback and uh, the people from all over uh, the you know world connected me through email or something and they were asking questions and uh, no i was reading papers whatever they are sending so i weren't being happy also super, thank super. you thank you for that also i'm glad it's i'm really glad that you know it put you to do more uh, what to learn <laughs> yeah 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 they were giving me suggestions and all oh, it made me happy that's good that's good and i think um so let's get you know you you did your uh, masters in yes. Kusat, Kochi University of Science and Technology. You know yeah. probably you, you, your master's degree. Then why do you decide? Yeah, I got to do the PhD. Is it is it a family reason or is it uh, your intention to do the continue your studies? I always wanted to do PhD, but right after my MTech, I got a job like uh, in Coyabot, Alapura. I got a job so. 
you know, as everyone, I also went for the job. But uh, my colleagues were there in IIT Karakpur, so they were sending me like any job position opening or something. They were sending me, so I saw this like you know uh, project, CH project, which is uh, sponsored by CL Limiter. So I thought, ah, it is a very good opportunity because I always wanted to work with some tire industry because whenever we are talking about tire rubber, the first example which will come to our mind is tire. So uh, I also wanted to, you know, work with some tire industry. So uh, when I see this opening, like a CH project uh, research fellow, I thought, yeah, this is a good thing. I have to apply for this. So I applied and uh, they called me for the interview. Uh, I was not sure because it is IIT and I thought I won't get in because it is very difficult. Everyone knows that. But uh, the interview was very nice. I performed well, I think. Uh, and they called me. I got the opportunity. So I asked my father, like, can I go there? Because it is very difficult. It's, I'm from Kerala. I have to move to West Bengal. And I was 23 or something. So they were like, no, 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 you can't go. So I said, it is IIT. I have to go. So they, after like two, three days, they said, okay, you go, you study there, you do whatever you want. So I went there and after six months, then only I joined for PhD. First, I started as a project fellow, oh, junior okay, research it. fellow. Ah, yes, yes, in CA project. Uh, so that is what, um, you know, give me that uh, because I want to work with this uh, Tire industry, that was my dream, one of uh, So when it, I saw this C8 tag, I said I have to apply for it and I have to go for it. That's, that's sure. how I ended it at IIT. So you end up for the next four years uh, stuck in there yeah, in IIT yes, Karakpur, yes. yeah? So, yes. then, uh -huh. so you, you have a knowledge of in Hindi do you, uh, before you go to the IIT Karakpur? Yes, I know a little bit because in Kerala we used to study Hindi in school and we used to watch a lot of Hindi movies and all those things. So I have a, you know, and I stayed uh, at Pune for six months during my B.Tech. So I have some experience there also. So Hindi was okay for me. I can communicate that. Okay. So 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 it, it was not that difficult for you just uh, no, only the thing is that language was uh, not a barrier language was not a barrier only the parents have a little a bit reluctant in the beginning but you made them you know yeah, yeah. because it was a great opportunity and uh, when my father and mother was talking to someone else they would say oh you your daughter got into iit you have to send her so they, be, they they're proud know. about it <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they came to know it's a big thing, not a small thing. So yeah, yeah, yeah. they made me go at the end. I know it's uh, how difficult it is uh, to get an IIT, even a, a, you call IIT G, right? You know, for the B Tech, you know, for, okay. which we, we, I tried, I didn't, I did not uh, get, you know, I failed, I can say, and uh, I want my mother, parents want me to do. Uh, try again because that is like a you know social uh, you call you get a, some kind of a high level where people look at you exactly. if you go if you study in IIT are you are the one of the yeah, cream members IIT right? is IIT nothing can yeah. compare to it that's right that's right yeah. oh, but you know uh, uh, no disrespect to others they are also you, yeah, you have yeah, a yeah. great facilities uh, of course the branding is there and I do have um, a lot of other universities are equally uh, competent, equally you know, for the face, you know, good facilities and good research, uh, you know, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, opportunity. Yeah. yeah. So, um, so, so you went to the um, as a, a research fellow, and you worked for six months, and then uh, okay. you were okay. So in that first, as junior research fellow, you worked with the professor Kin Suknaskar. Yes, yes, same professor. Okay, so that's so that's how you get into the with the continue the doing the PhD. Yes, okay. yes, yes, yes. yes. Okay, and uh, so how was uh, your you know stay first few six months? You know, you were settled down. You got on dormitories or or for the ladies, you being alone or you had to stay accommodation with uh, any of your uh, fellow 
colleagues yes, or yes, for the first time it was kind of sharing room and uh, then after like one and a half years only i got my single room but uh, mm -hmm. you know in the beginning it will be very difficult for us like you know you are in a new place and everything is so new to you so that time sharing is kind of good i have to yeah. say that you know having someone near to you you can talk to them you know you if you have some difficulty they will understand okay she is not in a good mood she need help you know, they will understand so at the first i thought you know i'm this much old i have to share a room with someone else that's not you know cool then you know after having some experience i thought okay that's good having someone near to you in this kind of situation because the food is different uh, the people are different uh, the way they are talking to you is different so it is very difficult at the beginning so some having someone is very good at the beginning so yeah and, and how long it took for you to cut it just yourself it was one month or yeah yeah one two months because i had so many colleagues uh, like uh, from my qsat friends there uh, okay. they were doing either m tech or uh, phd my seniors or someone like uh, malayalis i have to say that malayalis were there so i felt somewhat home like when i'm talking to them in malayalam or they are making me some food kerala food okay it's good it's good i am having a little bit of my home over here so i was i was okay with that so your roommate was from um, kerala or uh, kerala other? only okay, no so. kerala Okay, it was so, very good for me. <laughs> uh, so it made life easier. Eh? So, yeah. Yes, yes. Very, you know, in a big, big, big way, it made me my <laughs> life easier. <laughs> That's super. And uh, so, how was the stay? You know, the facilities for the ladies, well, hostel facilities are good. Dorms, you call them dorms, right? In the dormitories or what you allow? Yeah. No, no, uh, it was like a flat only, like uh, one room, one kitchen, one bathroom, one BHK like kind of thing. We have to share the rooms. That's it. And mm. so the kitchen was there. It was very good. If we want to cook something, we can cook and eat. So that that is not available in other hostels. I heard because cooking is not an option in some other hostels. But in IIT, I think everywhere that cooking option is there because so many people are from different places they are coming so they can't adjust to that uh, hostel food or uh, the food available in you know iit hotels and also we have to cook somehow we have to get that taste so they are giving this cooking facility in every hostel so that is one of the best things they are doing oh that's nice so that we give everybody in the lunch time a lot of smells around eh? All yeah, kinds of, yeah, 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 so, uh, yeah 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 that's good but uh, during weekdays uh, no one can because everyone is so busy but uh, weekends maybe like in sunday and saturday they can cook and eat whatever they want that's a good thing and mm. everything is so nice because uh, we have security is all over the places and uh, everything is safe and it's uh, you know in kerala especially in kerala i haven't been in outside my home after seven in the night or something but you know what is called nightlife i enjoyed at iit because we will feel that safe you know it's very safe inside that you know iit campus, IIT campus yeah. very, i mean yeah. i mean all of the professionals right you know everybody, yeah, yeah. everybody Everyone the is on their world because they were thinking about their research work or something they are reading the technical paper they won't like mind what you are doing so it's very <laughs> nice <laughs> I think another another uh, what you call the intellectual people city yeah? only yeah? Uh, yes, uh, yes, yes, uh, yes. All, the, all the professors and the families and uh, you know the M Tech B Tech and PhDs or postdocs you name it so it's it's a uh, it's intellectual city or you know with the brains. Uh, <laughs> with brains yeah you can you can see that when you are in iit all are the people with brain you know <laughs> when you are sitting in a hostel we will be yeah, yeah these all are like you know like the people with brain why i'm here <laughs> like that we will see <laughs> sometimes we will have that joke and we used to share these comments with our friends like why we are here they all are these good people and why we are here like we used to talk like that 
So. <laughs> Interesting. And so you, you, when you can, when you decided to uh, move to the PhD as uh, your work as a research project, do you need to do the coursework? I think you have a coursework for you, one year. Yes, is it right? Course. What is like? Yeah. Yeah, that is a very good experience because uh, uh, you know the professors in IIT is very you know they are brilliant. They are awesome. The teaching, the way of their teaching. So. Um, that is an opportunity for everyone like phd we thought you know the prof we we have that opportunity to learn something from them uh, because after phd there is a profession like teaching we can go to teaching yeah. so we can learn a lot of things from them like how they are teaching how they are very good at it, their profession so we can learn so many things from them and uh, like in coursework it is it will be a bit difficult like for six months we have to do this coursework as well as our work so the balancing is very you know important because most of our time we will be sitting in a class and we will be learning something so but at the same time we have to read the literatures and we have to start our work so that balancing is very important because most of the people will do only coursework during that time uh, don't you know don't uh, invest so many time in their work but that is important because we have to read that time literatures are very important so we have to lead and we have to balance that coursework time that mm -hmm. is the best idea so, so six months coursework only or six months or one year? I like uh, that is like points, like 20 points and 30 points. Like uh, for the MTech, because I did MTech, I have to only get 20 points, I think. Uh, but if you are MSc, BSc, MSc, then uh, you have to get more points. So that it will may take one year, you know, for getting oh, all okay. those points. So it uh, depends on the, your pre-degree before pre -degree, a PhD. Yes. What, yeah? So yeah. if you're MTech or MSc, you know, so so that they make sure that you have a sufficient knowledge uh, to before you go into research, you know. So yes. yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. So do you get a stipend uh, when you know, for the to study in that? Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. It will start right after you join for a PhD. Okay. Like How much you got? One month, we will you will get fellowship. Hmm. And may I know how much you get as a stipend? Is it like, keep on increasing? Uh, it? Yeah. Yeah. What I didn't heard. It, it will. It it will keep on increasing year by year, or it is a fixed. No, no, no. After yeah. the first two years, we will get uh like uh. I got uh first uh there was a like uh twenty five and twenty eight thousand. Then it hmm. got improved. 231 to 35 okay mm -hmm. so first two years we will get 31000 then after that it will in, increase into 35 it's like yeah, it's, that it's, i think it's more than sufficient to have your expenses taken care of is it right yes yeah. yes 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 that's yeah. more than sufficient because after mtech we will get a job that is like paying up to 35 to 40s but uh, if you are getting a degree and you are getting money that's good yeah yeah it's true it's true mm -hmm. so you started your researches after six months of coursework or is it right no i said uh, okay, you, you are in the I was, research I fellow in project. Ah, yeah so yeah. i started my work during that time and so six months i go this time for literatures and uh starting my work then only my coursework started so but that was very helpful for me so during my coursework also i can i can do the experiments because i already done this literatures and also i did the experiments in between my uh, classes so mm -hmm. it was like time saving for me so how long your experiment time how many years or months you for your this, like, for your uh, PhD year? like i did uh, experiments like for two years like uh the first year and the second year first year six months i did literatures and right after i started my experiments then in between this covid lockdown and all those games so uh that time because you know that time people used to do third year and uh, 
fourth year they will write and they will give more importance to writing as well as uh, doing experiment but we got this lockdown thing so i got my complete time to this writing so i published papers during that time so yeah and so uh, did you did you experience so you are like around two years time your experiments right yes, yeah, yes, yeah, yes, yeah. and mm -hmm. did you ever feel uh, um hey man this research is is getting difficult or doing research is getting difficult for you you do you did you expect the results did you get results as as you expected or you sometime you felt um yeah it's, i'm taking so too much time oh it's not uh you know, um, it's not the way I wanted, but it's you know. You find did you find any difficulty in doing research? My like, uh, mine was like project, so they are having like you know, uh, what they are getting is sixty percent, and they wanted it to input improve up to seventy five percent. So the goal was already settled. You know, I have to achieve that. So uh, first time, first two, three experiments, I was doing this and I was testing and I was getting not up to the mark. Okay, so I got really what I what I was very difficult, uh, you know, worried about is like I don't know what I am doing wrong. You know, I am oh. doing everything, you know, as everyone is doing. I am mixing it. I am testing it. So you know that made it very difficult i can't you know professor is giving my advices but he can't come to my lab and work with me okay how That's to right. do it with everyone that is not possible so uh, that is that was very difficult then i have to read literature you know what i'm you know what i'm doing wrong so that was in the beginning it was difficult then i got how, how i have to do the experiments i have to you know i have to write it down and i have to do every step by step everything i got you know after six six to six months you will get you know how to work it okay. you will solve it out <laughs> you'll find a way you'll find a way yeah. yeah it's uh yeah in the beginning maybe little confusion not sure where, where went wrong you know so yeah, but it, yeah. do you have a chance to work with the senior researchers and probably you know some of them are you know they we have a discussions yes. as well yeah? yeah yes yes we can i you know i would in in my professor under my professor there will be few students right so uh, we can ask them like you know how you are doing this how i have to do this you know during uh, experiments I, and the characterization they will ha help a lot because after we are preparing the sample we have to characterize characterize yeah. it using different machines and everything so they will help that time you know what you have to do how to prepare the samples that they will help a lot and it is very required and we have to we can go you know if they don't have time when we are they are doing their experiment we can go and assist them that is the best way to learn how to do the things for yourself so mm -hmm. uh, and uh, my seniors let me do that because whenever they are do, going for you know scanning electron microscopy or atomic post microscopy i used to go with them so when they are doing i can watch and learn how they are doing it and how can make it useful for my study so that is one thing you have to always follow your colleagues for you know first two three months what they are doing how they are doing how to learn everything and it's also the you kind of work as a team to help each other okay yes, and yes. Uh, as as a junior, you of course you may you may you must give some any assistance they need. You know, sometimes they need in, in doing the sampling yeah, yeah. or doing a, you know sitting at yes, the yes. instrument or waiting for the results. You know, kind of thing. Is it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And also yeah. thesis writing. You know, when you are joining, uh, there will be two or three persons writing their thesis. So you can help them editing and you know finding yeah. the mistakes. By that right. doing that, you can learn how how to write a thesis. You know, yes. in the beginning itself so that is very good i have a few opportunities to correct my thesis seniors thesis so it helped me a lot at the end i learned when i got this job at the beginning i thought why they are giving me this job i am a newbie <laughs> why they are doing this to me but you know at the end while i am writing my thesis then only i came to know you know how it yeah. helped me so yeah. this experience is very nice 
you know it's it's a very nice because usually when you when suppose you write something if you give it to your colleague to read it read through it it's, it's a, a totally different eyes and different mind yes. so they will they give you guidance more, yeah. more than us yeah um, i think that's a, that's really big help you know for everyone both sides they also get your yeah. perspective you know so you correct english or correct uh, even the the, in the interpretation of the data how you you know yeah, so that's mm -hmm. yes, nice. So you so you had a fun and also at the same time hard work, I guess. Yes, 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 I had a lot of fun as well as you know, uh, you know, in the beginning when you are getting this thesis, you know, you will be a lot of into your work that time. Right? So from morning to evening, I will be working on my work, like my experiments, my course work, and my literature. I do that in my night time, so it was very difficult for me. Like I have to work all over time for this, but I enjoyed it. You know, I find it. Uh, it, it is my best time to write thesis and it is writing papers at the night i can work more i came yep. to you know i realized it it became a plus point for me at the mm -hmm. end mm -hmm. so, so you, you, you do when you do the experiments do you need to work late hours yeah uh, sometimes because uh, you know it will be the, some procedures are like three to four hours and all those things and uh, we have to give maturing yeah. time and all those things so sometimes it will go up to like 12 o'clock or one o'clock or something like that so mm -hmm. you can either uh, you know program your work according to you know your work time like nine to five or something if you are okay to work at the night you can do like that it is up to you you know no one is forcing you no yeah. one will force you. and then you should have access to the laboratories at any time yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah. there will be people always around like some people are only work at night some people only work at morning so there uh, the lab will be open you know 24 7 so if you want to go you can go that's it. So you know you have done experiments for more than two years, and what is your favorite instrument of rubber testing, or which yeah, is which one I, really, which one you really like, you really like the most, or or utilize it the best for your work? Like I did a lot of mixing during my experiment because I was working in rubber and working for inner liners and all those things, so I had to do a lot of mixing. So I was using an internal mixer for my research work so first uh, there was an assistant who used to do my mixing and all those things so and uh, you know after two three months he let me do that and i last i used to do mixing for my you know juniors and all so i became very you know used to that mission i know how to use it how to control the temperature you know there will be some drawbacks because you know continuous using and all that so i know how to you know use it uh, without any you know problem and all those i became a pro in this internal mixer wow. so i think i like uh, my internal mixer more in uh, my lab i think okay <laughs> Um, and how about other instruments you use for you know characterization or what else you, know, you, you have you have used here? Um, we are having like a basic rubber in, instrument all in our lab and we are having central research facility there where we used to do this microscopic analysis and all those things so for there we only have to prepare sample uh, there will be like uh, the people who will be doing these uh, experiments and all those things so mostly uh, because my experiment was with nano composite i have to use this microscopic analysis more compared to other instruments in my lab so I will be doing, uh, you know, uh, that instruments compared to whatever in my lab. Mm -hmm. But did you get a chance to work with all the rubber testing instruments? You know. Yes, the, yes, uh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, there will be, you know, uh, demonstrations of the work, and uh, you know, you and you can learn on the instruments if you want no one will stop you like you know if you want you can go there and learn there will be some lab technicians or someone you can ask them you can learn that so i i think i use uh, like uh, you know rheometers and all those things i've studied 
you know, during my time in IIT. I think this because when you do the PhD, what what one advantage I see, I, I understand, is that uh, people become more professional, more skilled in handling the rubber testing, all kinds of rubber testing. Uh, yes, 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 university, yes. university where university have all kinds of instruments. You know, factory maybe they have limited, but university everybody has to do you know various research and uh, funded by different uh, organizations, right? So yes, that is, yes. I think that is one of the advantage when you're doing a PhD. Uh, you, you may call it you pro on the rubber mixer or internal mixer, but you also have a very good and a skill uh, in, uh, in other instruments, other facilities. Yes, yes, yes. So, Testing is very, very important after, you know, preparing and uh, preparing samples for it also very, very important. Uh, right, that is, right. uh, yeah. That's, mm -hmm. The preparation of samples is uh, one of the most important thing. Uh, you know how that will you know uh, rely on how you will get your results. So that is very very important, I think. And I think the laboratory supervisors, or you may call them technicians, I think they got mm -hmm. really hands of knowledge, right? You know, yes, so yes, they, they, yes. They are very really good at what they are doing. Right. I have to say they are handling like we are having 50 plus students in our lab so yeah. they are handling all their samples and they are testing all their so they have you know when they are seeing the results they know it is good or bad you know by their experience yeah. only yeah that's very yeah. good and they yeah. can they are also giving their input their thoughts about our work and all those things so that's very good they are very supporting also you know in uh, during our light lab work or pending work or something they will help us a lot so that's very good yeah i, I would say this along with your professor or the project leader and thing but uh, the lab technicians or supervisors play a key role in completion of your research work if they are not yes. there if they're not supportive you'll be in big trouble right and uh, yeah, yeah, and, yes, yes. and not only manage in at how to work on instruments but also because they because they've been working on various projects they as you mentioned rightly mentioned you get a lot of input on the how to you know uh, do your mm -hmm. research better or uh, in some suggestions along with your professor you know so yes 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 that's very nice yeah. and how many lab supervisors you guys have at, at uh, IIT like we have uh, like uh, up to five i think i think five five or six like that, that and there. usually they've been working there for a very long time is it yeah 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 you know, they know the instruments more than us like you know if there is a little bit a small complaints and all they will repair it like you know they are very good at what they are doing i have to say and you need to be nice to them so that to get yeah, things done we yeah. have to we have to <laughs> <laughs> you will yeah. become nice to them you know there is no pressure on that you will become that's for sure <laughs> yeah. it's not it not not about nice i think it's more of respecting them you know and uh, and also taking their input and valuing their ideas automatically the the chemistry develops with the with yes, most of yes. the yeah. so yeah super Okay, and uh, so it's COVID. When when COVID hit us, right, and uh, yes. we didn't know how long is you know thing. Like, what was going on at the time? How did, you know, at the time, way oh, man, I'm, whether I'm going to finish my. Uh, yeah, oh. everyone was like in the same situation, so it little bit less than my worrying because everyone all over the world is going through the same situation. So it it you know uh, help me <laughs> i have to say because when i'm thinking i am i am having trouble and i used to think about other person okay he is going through the same so we can come over it i used to think like that uh, you, are but, not, you, are, you are not alone in the problem yeah yeah. yeah that is very helping that thought itself is very helping so like you are not alone so uh, it was a good thing and uh, the thing is um, uh, during my PhD I thought no if I, I didn't got access to my lab that was very difficult you know uh, it is all in the lab you know PhD completely in the lab so uh, when I stopped doing that it 
it was a bit difficult for me, like, you know, how I am going to move on with my work, I have, I'm, how I am going to finish my work and all those thoughts disturbed me in the first. But uh, my professor, I have to say, he gave me like, you know, you have to do this. He gave me the next step. Okay, you have to do this. Tomorrow you do this. Tomorrow you do. Like that, he gave me the next step. So that helped me a lot. I don't have to worry about the future. I know tomorrow I can do this. Okay, that's fine. I have work for tomorrow. So he helped me with writing. He suggested me how to write papers. Uh, whatever I finished, I made it into paper and I published it. So the paper publishing is one of the important things during PhD. Whatever you work, you have to get a paper at the end. So that yeah, is very important. Awesome. So, how many papers you published? How many papers you published? So far, I did four. So. Yeah, okay. uh -huh. In that four, I think three, three of my paper published during this COVID lockdown time. So okay. I completely given my time to writing during, you know, COVID lockdown. So I think I used the lockdown time very fruitfully. So I'm happy. Yeah. So let's talk thanks about to my professor. Uh, he yeah. <laughs> showed me the way how to use the, your time, you know. Uh, so that is a, that is a advantage that is the purpose that you know as an advisor right you know to guide you in the right direction when the situation yeah. is difficult right so yeah. so let's talk about your papers you know i uh, think as i understand that it is very very important every phd student has to publish some international or peer-reviewed journals so That's you right. said you you published uh, four papers altogether, right yes. and, uh, for your PhD thesis and uh uh, how many journals you submitted first? I think there are, you submit a couple of journals, right? It's not one journal yes, and yes. Expedia. So what yeah. kind of journals you submitted? Let, let's talk about first first paper. Okay. And yeah. uh, how many journals, what kind of journals you, uh, you, you submit your paper to them? Uh, yeah. Do you submit one paper to the more than one journal? Right. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, my first paper, uh, you know, um, I submitted after after one and a half years of my PhD. Yeah. So, you know, when you got this rejection mail, you know, for the first time, awesome. it is like, uh, yeah, first rejection, you know, during your PhD. That is like, that will make your energy very low. You know, whatever you are doing is gone. Everything, you will feel like that. But, you know, uh, there will be so many seniors and colleagues over there they will you know they all went through the same thing they will when we are submitting the paper that time itself they say you know you will get a rejection mail don't worry be prepared for it uh, but you will feel no that is okay that's fine but you have to you know overcome it but uh, that's fine as uh, as long as you are getting some reviews or comments on your paper that is fine you can work on it you can make it better you can resubmit it and uh, you know you it will get accepted you know one day when it, the paper get better it will get upset, uh, accepted i have to say that you know my some of my seniors from uh, iit itself i can say they got rejected like 50, up to 15 times but they oh, are still yes. doing the work, you know. The first time is not a thing, I have to say that. You know, for one or two times you will get this rejection thing and you will get used to it, you know. Uh, so my the first, first paper, paper how many, first one, how many times you got rejected? One time or? Only one time, you know. But yeah. my fourth paper, it got rejected for more than 10 times because it was a new work, you know. The people were not familiar with it. So you it will be very difficult to get accepted uh, you have to say we have to say that if you're doing a new work uh, it will be very difficult to get accepted uh, um, references will not be there they can't you know yeah. compare your work to anything so uh, they will also have some you know they pull back them you know to accept your paper but it will get accepted once they understand what your work is about and all those things but you know I said I had experience up to seven times rejection. It's okay. It's okay. It will, it will make the paper better. You will get comments yeah. and uh, reviews about your paper, what you have to do to make the paper, you know, more attractive or more, more better. So it is good. 
so you don't need to what so you trying to say the rejection is a you don't need to get discouraged by getting rejected no. but it also you have a chance to improve your paper quality mm. content you know and for the because that stays in the journal for forever so you got to make sure that the right content right paper is published yeah. Yeah, so. that is uh, you know you can't make it to a hundred percent is perfect but 98 to 95 or something like that you can make it up to that if you are getting more rejections yeah. okay. So the, the highest you number got say that one or two times you will get rejected your paper, you know, during your PhD period. So don't feel low, but you will feel sad. I have to say that when you are getting this rejection mail in your hand, you will feel like, okay, whatever I am doing is wrong. Uh, my life is gone, but it's okay. <laughs> Next day you, you have to come and you have to, you know, uh, if you want, uh, you know, change the paper a little bit, you can submit it then it will get accepted no problem i know if i for your you know just for the benefit of the you know the people who are coming to the rubber technology phd programs what kind mm -hmm. of journals are useful or what kind of journals they should submit you know can you name them yeah. some of them are you probably let's talk about the, the where what journals you published um, i published in japs you know journal of applied polymer science yeah. and uh, i also uh, polymer advanced technologies uh, like that you know that is dep purely depend upon your work i worked in nano composites so i have to see which uh, journals publish my kind of work and some people will work on polymer chemistry so they have to submit on that kind of journal so that is purely depend upon what work you are doing so it's you talk about the elsewhere or Springer, you know the so those, while, uh, those, yeah, yeah. those, those journals yeah is iit iit karakpur has their internal uh, research journal do they have their own journals iit karakpur uh, i i i don't know i don't know i don't know about it uh, hmm. i don't know about the journals they are having magazines and all uh, they will you know uh, publish uh, the best work or something like that uh, hmm. but i don't know about the journals okay and so hmm. how so how about you know you know technical people have difficulty in writing good english I think that's what generally, yeah. Um, yeah. Okay, unless your your parents or you groom them, you know, you're good in literature writing or you know, so you're yeah. very, very good in grammar and things like that. So, how did you manage, right? You know, at the end of the day, paper published must be in good in everything, right? Yes, Grammatically, yes. technically, you know, content-wise, up to date, you know. So, did you get any help, or you were already the best in writing? no 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 no. i was not the best but you know if you are good at english also the writing is you know complete scientific language so you have to learn it the first step the step is you have to read a lot of papers the first thing is that uh, if you are writing on a subject like if i am doing rubber nano composite i have to read like up to 10 papers on uh, my subject then you will get an idea how to write the paper. But uh, the next thing is typo mistakes and grammar mistakes will be there. And in IIT, we have this Grammarly account and uh, plagiarism checking account that is free in IIT. Every PhD students will have an account in Grammarly and uh, plagiarism checking. So it, it helps a lot, you know, uh, we are, we all, all are not pro in writing good english or you know good grammar or something i'm from malayala medium i have to say that so that is very nice uh, you know having this grammarly and other softwares to help us during this writing and all those things so if even you know, what friend to say is that uh, if, if you're a researcher if you're not good in english or you are wherever the backgrounds you are from there is nothing to worry to publish a paper yeah, nothing to worry on. no after yeah. reading two three papers only you will get an idea how to write the papers then mm -hmm. uh, the other things english and all things google is there uh, the grammar is there uh, everything is you know you are having helps all over around you so 
it's not and, a problem and also your colleagues as seniors and juniors read read uh -huh. read again for you and uh, so yes, right. they will correct yes. your paper and the professor also after finishing your own connection correction you can give to your professor they will check for you and uh, they will give you comments they will give their feedback so that is very helping i think mm -hmm. no need to worry about writing because you know it's, it's an easy job compared to other things <laughs> okay that's cool okay let's talk about um, uh, your thesis presentation or discussion right you're about to final final presentation to your uh, do you, by the way before you get into that part uh, you know every thesis every PhD student you have one primary advisor that's professor Kinsel, but they also have a co-advisor you call them co-advisors or that is not necessary that is not mm. necessary not for everyone for me only professor naska was there but okay. for some research students there will be a co-advisor also but for me it was not there okay so but uh, for your final presentation uh, mm. there will be an external uh, experts yes, will yes, come yes. and you know uh, do you uh, do you get informed who will be there in advance or no 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 there won't be any information you will get to know on the defense day only on the defense mm -hmm. day only so you don't know what kind of uh, backgrounds they have of course they, yeah. they should have some knowledge of what you are presenting anyway yes, so yes. so so the day before you're making a presentation okay yes. what was going on in your in your mind okay. um i have to you know we will try to make it perfect like without any mistakes or anything but mostly tension will be there on your head and we will be tense like no i was making a mess over here because it, my defense was done over my home so i was i was not eating i was tense and my mother was you did four years of work you know better than anyone so don't be That's tense right yeah that's, she's, what she said is very correct but you know uh, when you are at that moment you know that you know it's a bit tension but you know once it's over you know you will become very happy so it is not a problem you know the tension will be there you have to because it's your four years work and uh, if you mess it up it's gone so that tension will give you some you know power to perform well so i think yeah, and also I think this the focus external or, or what who the examiners you call them that uh, they do understand everybody have to go through this you know this kind yes, of yes. Uh, tension here because it's about you know once your your defense is over uh, clear then you are going to have a big title next to you right or dr mm -hmm. or phd you know so yeah how long your presentation was how much time you they gave it you up to like uh, 30 to 45 minutes i took around 40 minutes I think. okay and how many how, how long the uh, q and a session for you like it is depend upon you know the how many questions they are it's open like there is no time limit for it but for uh, your experience but, how much time they, how many questions they ask you I think they asked up to 10 to 15 questions. Okay. Uh, but uh, it was nice. Uh, it was not that much difficult as I imagined my in my head. It was smooth, <laughs> I have to say. <laughs> Little <Okay>. bit. <laughs> Probably the, after the first question, maybe you, you felt come more comfortable, right? Yeah. You know, yeah it's it's okay. It's, and they're not really making my brains out, you know. So, you, yeah, okay, yeah. I can answer anything, you know. So, yeah. But you know, I think during your synopsis, we are having pre synopsis, you know, before our defense presentation. That time, they will, our, there won't be any external examiner. We only have our professors and uh, DSC members will be there. And they will ask so many questions, you know, during our synopsis. So uh, you will get an idea what they will ask, how they will, you know, go deep into your thesis, which area you are. Uh, don't have knowledge you have where you have to work for more you will get an idea during our synopsis itself so that is very good they will find out our mistakes in presentations and all so what mm -hmm. we have to do in defense is you have to make it better than your synopsis that is it you have to, okay. you know, mm -hmm. 
That's so it's true. all together all together how long is session was like two hours for you or 40 minutes presentation probably other uh, like minutes. minus one and a half hours like 40 minutes presentation and after that the question okay and mm -hmm. once they ask the final finish is over the question and answer session is over what were the remarks from them what kind of remarks like, you got uh, from them? i think it was very Pretty good. The external examiner was very nice. He said a few kind words to me about my presentation and uh, my thesis because uh, then I had uh, like, you know, uh, better results compared to uh, the ordinary, the usually used one. So I got like, you know, good remarks from the external examiner. Okay. Once is over, oh God, thank God, it's over. Yeah, this is yeah, like, you yeah. know, yeah. No, I went out from my room and I became doctor. <laughs> I said to my mother like that. She said, okay, okay, okay you can eat here for two days. You didn't have anything you can eat now. Uh, I can uh, understand, you know, that, that, yeah. uh, that journey and uh, with the um, after finishing it, yes, everything flies away. It's in, it's in the air. Yeah, it's flying yeah, yeah. in the air itself. Yeah. So, well, mm -hmm. let's talk about your professor. And you, you work with the professor Kinsuk Nasker, like a well recognized, mm -hmm. well experienced, internationally recognized. So, how was your experience with uh, um, Professor Kinsuk in conducting this research? Uh, the first, you know, as everyone, I was also got intimidated. Uh, uh, by the IIT professor, but he is very nice to me. Like he, he gave me the time to settle down first. That is very important, you know, to know the place, to know the, you know, what is around there, everything. He helped me a lot. He, you know, helped me with everything. He helped me to find hotels near me where I can get good food and all those things. He helped me like that. He helped me to settle down. Then he, you know, uh, talked to the lab technicians and all uh, to give me advices and uh, give me the experience before, you know, moving on to my work. So he arranged it for me. So I got my hand experience in this mixing and uh, everything before I started my work. So he arranged everything. So he's very, like, uh, he's very comfortable to work. It's, it's not only me I'm talking about. Everyone to everyone he is saying like you know they he yeah. will make you know comfortable uh, around you know situation for us. And what kind of support do you get in terms of and the re, about result? You said that he give you the directions also in terms of step by step yes, on yes. doing the research. Yeah. So, uh -huh. And the first thing is when uh, he gives us freedom to do, you know, if we are having an idea, we can discuss with him and he will give his feedback and he will give uh, what he th thought thinking about our idea and if we can add something to it, he will discuss about everything. Now we have that freedom. We can meet, that, meet him at any point. You know, any time of the day, he will be there in his office, and uh, it was very helping. Like he will give, you know, right idea. You know how you will do this work, how you can perform it. You know, uh, so he will. It's very nice. Super. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um. Let's uh, talk about. Uh, did you ever uh, a laboratory facility? Did you do any damage to the? lab equipment or facilities you know because no, 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 no. we're sitting in the lab <laughs> no, we... the instruments are so costly so we will be oh, very careful around yeah, them right. <laughs> yeah and i as i said technicians will be always around there and uh, i think i break two three because uh, that is like okay <laughs> during the time and uh, the mostly we used to mess up our samples you know uh, okay. There will be some problems with, uh, you know, we will spill something to it, something like that. But that is manageable. We have to work hard. That's it. nothing else. That will only affect us. So that's it. <laughs> yeah. So always, you know, if you don't break something, you don't learn, right? That you need yeah, to get dirty. True. Yeah. So yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, you, you have the PhD. You have a 
M Tech students also there. Do they have a B Tech yeah, program on the rubber? No, no, only no, the M Tech. No, no. Only the M -tech. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you have a chance? Uh, did you get a chance to teach them, or how no, is interaction no. between M Tech and uh, B um, PhD students? Or do you doing? No, any there is no teaching. No teaching. I have seen it in uh, Kuzad and all that PhD students used to teach us, but that program is not in IIT. Uh, mm -hmm. But uh, during coursework, we used to attend the classes with them only. So that time, they will treat us only as their classmate, no PhD, nothing. Uh, we have to write the exam, we have to do the same thing. So that time, we would be like classmates, we will go for tea and all together like that. And uh, after that, uh, the interaction is we have a uh, go like an you know, during exam, we used to go as uh, invigilator. So that time, that is another experience with them. That so, mm -hmm. there is no other interactions. Lab and all they used to do with lab technicians. We are not allowed during that. Okay, let's talk about your research. You know, uh, okay. you did the research on the rubber uh, uh, nano composites for the air barrier application inner liner. So what yes. did you achieve? What did you achieve? You know, in these four years, and uh, they sponsored by CET, right? You know, so yes, yes. talk about your research work. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I am. I developed rubber nano composite with uh, various nanofillers for various barrier applications, and uh, because it was a limited project, uh, my main, uh, you know, uh, application was tire inner liners and uh, uh, you know like uh, now they are uh, producing tiles which can be used up to one years and two years so the air in air in um, no in a liner should have the ability to keep the air inside for one to two years so we have to improve the air impermeability up to that for the inner liners they are using uh, so for the what we are using now in the industry it is having up to 60 percentage of uh, air impermeability so my goal was to achieve it up to 75 percentage and uh, I you know in my works I think I achieved that with various nanofillers and all uh, the goal was achieved up to 75 percentage of air impermeability and uh, did, did you get the feedback from uh, CET the sponsor yeah the yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know but uh, the thing is I was working with graphene you know but uh, okay. graphene is one of the miracle material but uh, the thing is they can't use it industrially because of its cost for mm -hmm. right now but they they said to me like that the result is not for today it's for tomorrow so when they are ready with graphene they can use my method that's what they said yeah i think the the, the, the trends in graphene application been you know, increasing every day by day, yeah. a lot of work is going on, you know, I think a lot of yeah. research is going on, a lot of application yeah, yeah. wise also, industry is also willing to work on yeah. that uh, graphene, yeah, so. Okay. Uh, so at you know. the same time when we are studying about this rubber nano composites and there will be another researchers trying to develop graphene in a you know, more smarter way, so yeah, mm -hmm. <laughs> that will, uh, <laughs> that's positive possibility. We can use our, researchers in the future nearby so as part of because they are the project owners uh, we see it is sponsoring so did they be part of the their members or part of the, your uh, presentation yes, uh, yes. yeah, yeah. i have a mentor over there too during my project time and we had uh, review meetings in every three months and they will give me their feedback uh, about my work and all those things so that's mm. how it Okay, so what kind of what kind of response? They're very supportive and give you the you know is this R and D head is part of the program or what it is? Yes, yes, R and D head is uh, like vice president is uh, always uh, you know connecting with us uh, whatever we are doing we have to send a report to him. We are, I am I was like you know directly contacting him for any you know, support and all those things. So he was very okay. supportive during my work. Okay, so it's a, the the sponsors also very supportive for your research. Yeah, that makes yes, things yes. easier, yeah. So yeah. And I also got an opportunity to go to see it and work there for two uh, weeks during my 
PhD period. Uh, I I used their facilities for my testing and all those things. So that was also a good experience, mm -hmm. I have to say. And which plant do you work there in CIA? They have a couple of plants right here. What? I which, didn't which, have which, which location? Gujarat, Gujarat, I went there. Okay, so, mm -hmm. so, so you had you had some time experience with them at the, the, the oh, factory yes, itself. Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. Okay, and uh, so now your your PhD is done. You you have developed some solutions on the barrier properties. Okay, and what is the next? What is next, Dr. Ashwati? I'm looking for uh, both postdoc and jobs. I uh, know, uh, like I'm applying for right now. So I'm looking for the best opportunity, like. And are you planning to stay in India or and looking to overseas? As well? Anything is okay for me as far uh, the program is good. Okay, the full package is good. Is it right? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Yes, yes, so that's true. I see. Well, well, done. well, it's really nice, you know. That uh, I'm just thinking, what else I should ask you about? Uh, uh, rubber technology PhD in rubber technology and you, what do you what kind of advice you give it to the people um, uh, wanted to continue their let's say who sat master students and um, mtech students they wanted to uh, do continue their studies uh, in phd what do you what advice you give with them advice. Uh, i have to say first study hard for now because uh, the marks are very important and uh, uh, I have to say that, uh, you know, that all should be there. You, If you want to study some people, you know, they don't want to study after MTech or something. But in PhD, we have to study continuously. If you have that, you know, uh, love for study and all those things, you can sure go for PhD. There won't be any problem. You will learn new things every day. So that is a very good thing but if you are not that invested in you know academics or studying you can go for a job to you and take care of this. that's it oh, okay and mm -hmm. do you encourage the lady girls also to do the research more yeah yes 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 i have to say that but you know uh, in our uh, iit itself uh, the the facilities for ladies is not up to the mark because of the number of uh, lady students was very less, uh, you know, up to 2014 or 13. But now it is very increased. The number is very much increased. They are even building new hostels for women in IIT. So uh, that is very, you know, one big step. Positive sign. Women and women are all those things. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think, you know, we used to discuss why they are building it or we used to analyze that and we came to know that the number of students increased a lot, you know, women students. So that is a very good thing to hear. Mm -hmm. That's nice. That's nice. Good for the country. I think the girls yes. are more dedicated, more concentrated, you know, yes, doing the yes, good yes. work. Okay. So yeah. follow the, yeah. Okay. Um, uh, Ashwati, it's really nice um, having conversation with you. I think I touched a lot of things. I hope you brought some old memories. Uh, yes, you know, yes. Uh, yeah. yes. Back true. to the you know, year 2014. I Sorry, which one? Which year was it started? 2000, 2018. Uh, okay, 2018. So I mm -hmm. took you to the 2018 and I uh, reached to the 2022. You are already okay. now the yeah, Dr. Ashwati, I'm really proud about you and I see the progress and uh, I want you to continue your success. Okay, I wish you the best and uh, thank you. keep doing good work. Okay. Thank yeah. you. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed this conversation. Yes, I enjoyed it very much. Uh, nice talking to you, Pera. Yeah, okay. Um, mm -hmm. We catch up again. I hope to see you in some other time, other other platforms again. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Stay, Bye. Yeah. Stay well. Stay well. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Thank you very much. Bye. Okay. I